We are at the Goodwill Bins downtown Nashville. We have three days here, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And here's the thing, we have a limited budget, which means it's not gonna be money that stops us from buying more. It's gonna be whether or not we can fit everything we buy in that car. <sighs> Wish us luck. You heard all Tindo, unlimited budget. That means the crew can shop till they drop. They can buy whatever they want, as long as it fits in a Dodge Durango. If you're new to the channel, here is what you need to know. Two videos ago, Tendo announced that he is opening a real toy store called Duck Duck Blue. In order to fill that toy store, Tendo and the crew are spending all their time at a special Goodwill where you can shop Goodwill's overstock and pay for it by the pound. So for the purposes of today's video, Tendo is going to spend the whole weekend buying for the store. And then he is going to give you a peek at the numbers for each day, both in poundage and dollar amount. Comment below before we get started. How much do you think Tendo and the crew will spend? And then make sure you're subscribed, because the road to opening the store is going to be paid with the tears of a thousand Mr. Potato Head. And you're not going to want to miss it. I say this every time I come here, it's one of the crazier bins and it's impossible to film at. So I don't know what to do about that, but boy, did we find some good stuff. There's a very specific Nerf gun that comes with this part on top and this part on bottom. I can't tell you why, but I found no less than two of these and like 10 of these. Most brain numbing Nerf find I've ever had. And I'm, I'm scared to stop digging because with that particular gun, with all these pieces on it, the value goes way up. So I gotta keep digging for more. Craziest amount of darts I've ever found. At once, at one time, two two gallon bags. Huggy wuggy, more darts, rubber ducky. I only found a few. I saw someone else find like 10 more, but these have gotta be valuable, right? Everyone here is way more hard up for squish mellows. So, I got two of the 20 that I saw, but no one got the best of Are you kidding me? All of them are going to the washer. One of the best fires. Bionicle. Full of bionicle. I worked really hard to dig them out of the bottom of the bin. Nobody wanted them. Can't believe it. Good friend Chris found the bottom of the bin's Lego. You did the hard work, so Beans, I didn't have beans. to. That's right. I dug. <laughs> Look at all this. One bin. What? Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, it all. My friend Chris came thrifted with us at the bins today. He's never been here before. Give us a review of the Nashville bins. Crazy. Crazy. I'm coming back. Appreciate you. It's, it's going to be crazy. It's better than Clarksville, ain't it? Clarksville is a crap hole compared to this place. This I tell, is awesome. I tell people that all the time and uh, on this channel. Or they don't believe me, but it's just so much better. This is so much better. I drove three hours. I don't want to leave, but I got to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> and you see, I'm tired as hell. Yeah. And we're both worn out. We're both tired of leaning over these bins. Man, and I ain't getting no younger. But this is crazy. What's the craziest thing you found? Craziest thing I found? He gave me all his good stuff. Yeah, I gave <laughs> I gave him like 30 squish miles. Yeah, about half my squish <laughs> miles there. Yeah. Craziest thing I found? Um, I found a, a half eaten cheeseburger. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh. Like an hour ago. There's there's someone was eating their lunch and just threw it through it. Oh, no, it'd been there for a while. Oh, wow. Yeah, so other than that, everything's like, Yikes. I'm scared to even see the price of my cart. Hey, this is probably your better find? I would say this is my better find, not the cheeseburger. Not the cheeseburger. Not the cheeseburger. <laughs> Stickers are all there, elastic's yeah. all good. 2010. 2010, nice. 2010, so it's 14 years old. Never seen anything like this. I find maybe one or two of these shields a year and I've never found a stand. Two stands, eight, 10 shields, crazy. That is it to day one. 
do stick around towards the end if you want to see a full recap of all the stuff we got. But here is a recap of today's numbers. Day two started out pretty cool because I walked over here to say something to her and I found this Nerf stuff just chilling in the clothes. I mean, someone must have thrown it back. There's another one of these, which is like the Nerf piece to buy. I need the... Just buy more. <laughs> it's just in the clothes. If any more of those handles show up, we're rich. We're Nerf rich. There's almost too much to dig. Cum giant pumpkin. You want that Evie? Right. Thank you. I got a canvas, about the right size for what I need. Giant pumpkin Lego stuff. This Evie was probably five of the day so far. Uh, is that the same exact arena Chris found yesterday? Crazy. It did just so much crap, man. So much. That is the end of day two, and we've actually filled a minivan. Uh, don't worry, I haven't upgraded the minivan. My brother needed me to transport his kids and stuff, so we gotta go dump the stuff and get the kids. But we also, we filled up a minivan, so that's how it goes. I bought a bunch of books and a bunch of junk. This was probably last minute clutch fire, though it's filthy. It's a proper vintage G.I. Joe box with the original sticker and stuff. Gonna take it home and clean it up. If I get it in the van, but here are the stats for the end of day two. You got a cart full already? Yes. We just started. I know. It was a really good day. Well, it's been okay for me. It's just too crowded. I'm fighting people for stuff. But I've got some good comics and good plush. Giant Sonic was pretty good find. Lots of good Lego on the bottom of this bag. Absolutely packed the car. No idea how I'm gonna get all this in there. And then I still have to go across town here in Nashville and buy an Ikea table for the store. We're in rough shape, but I'm just going to start filling negative space with this uh, here clothing. We're just going to shove it in. You know what I mean? Just take a handful. Get it in. <laughs> what else are you going to do? Lots of cranny space. But no big bag space. I'm not sure what to do with it. I showed up at this person's driveway in the middle of Tennessee to buy this table and I expected these legs to be screw off because they are 90% of the time. They don't seem to be. So I think I'm about to have to take all these off with this. Yep, okay. This is what I'm using. At least the battery's not gonna run out on this screwdriver. <laughs> the neighbor's watching right now like, what the fuck, dude? What is happening at my neighbor's house? But it's gonna happen. This is what we're doing for the store. I'm chasing down all IKEA tables. Can't beat free. Can't beat it. There's also an office chair across the street by someone's trash can. Boy, do I want it. But boy, do I not have room. I barely got room for this, but it's I left room for it. Hey there, pretty. You're beautiful. You're older too.
What's that? What's that? I don't actually live here. I'm picking it up for the person that oh, does. Okay. They left it on their porch for me. Okay. And I brought the worst tool to take it apart. What is that? It's a tiny little screwdriver. Oh, Lord. So here, do it. No, I'm too close to being done, but I appreciate it. Right. Yes, ma'am. I saw that. It came right up to me. <laughs> for a second, I thought it was yours, but. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She asked me how the baby was. Like I live here. I guess I look comfortable. Like I ain't scared. But I'm just on screw. Well, let me do the bath. Screw 12 of 20. Leg three or four. I grew up in a neighborhood where that person would have definitely called the top. Some of these are just there so tight. Third leg almost done. Some MacGyver shit right here. I guess it would have been funnier for the camera if I just talked like whatever baby she was talking about was mine. Try to see how far I can go. Last leg. More people walking this way. What if they asked me how the baby is? This could turn into the whole video. Just people talking to me walking by. It's so great she offered to go back home and get me a screwdriver though. That's some friendly town stuff right there. I thought I lived here too. Look, table, sick, fits. I think this will go right back where it was. Is it gonna fit? There you go. We got another Ikea table. Two sets of people walked by, both thought I lived here. One lady asked me how the baby was. <laughs> and I told her, I was, like, oh, I, don't, I was like, I don't live here. I'm just, I picked this up off the porch. The second people said they looked at this trash can. I'll show you what we pull out. This trash can is full of shit, right? And they go, they go, you need a bigger trash bin, man. Just <laughs> casually. And I was like, yeah. And they're like, we've been there. But look, there's a baby gate in the trash can. That woman doesn't even live close. They, it's not like she, I thought, wow, I was sitting there, she knew the person. She's just asking context clues like an investigator because she saw baby stuff in the oh. trash can. That's what that was. That's creepy, kinda. Yeah, now she's just watching. She's standing here in the middle of the road. I thought she like knew the people. I did too, for a whole 10 minutes. Oh my God. She's got a little dog. She's <laughs> way back now. She probably called the cops. I'll be reporting her. She's doing something in the middle of the road on her phone. <laughs> well, this was a wild encounter. <laughs> I don't know if you can see me. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see what I'm about to show you, but I know you want to know what we brought home. But I'm gonna show you just as simply as I can. First of all, a car full of squishmallows, which thankfully they could press because they were shoved up under the floorboards. Her clothes start here, bag one and two, and end over here with a, a giant bag three, four, five, six, seven. And then I kid you not, all of this just came out of that car. I don't know how we did it, but we did. Several, several Ikea bags full of stuff. Some of the best finds were definitely the plush because when the store opens, why would we not want that giant Halloween decoration? Giant Eevee's awesome, giant Sonic is awesome. Box full of Pokemon stuff, including some cards. Shelving for the store. Oh, there's more clothes I just tucked under there. How do we get all this in the car? That Nerf stuff is probably my find of the day here and here. I can't believe it. That's worth its weight in gold. Almost literally. Uh, I don't know what else to tell you other than you can tell I'm in a new place. Where are we? You're gonna have to stick around the next video to find out. Uh, but I'm happy to be here. And uh, next video is gonna be all about it. So hit the subscribe button, turn the notifications on, come back and see what we're about to do. Hey, you gonna tell these guys goodbye? Bye. Okay, see ya. It's, this is awesome, guys. I don't know what else to tell you. Till next time, peace out.